So it's my pleasure to be here today at the uh, IPSA Foundation uh, Symposium uh, talking about stem cells, hype or hope, and I think the common theme already today is that there is both hype and hope. Uh, today in my presentation I'll spend some time talking about our own interest in using stem cells for therapy, and we have several different um, avenues we're taking. We work primarily on skeletal muscle, and we are interested in using stem cells for therapy in muscle diseases, but what I'll talk about today is a, a new uh, area of research that we've been pursuing, which is using stem cells from muscle for treating muscle injury, or what's called volumetric muscle loss, when uh, a person has been injured commonly in war, but even in civilian life, and a large chunk of muscle is missing. We have ways that we're combining stem cell biology with bioengineering and transplantation techniques to try and recreate muscle that has been lost and recreate new muscle in areas that there has been massive damage. Uh, a lot of that, as I mentioned, is really a bioengineering challenge in terms of recreating the kind of environment that would be hospi hospitable to stem cells and allow them to engage and graft and grow new tissues. We think that this approach will be generally applicable. There are a lot of other investigators around the world who are co using this combination of stem cell biology and bioengineering and I think that that will be a near-term future of stem cell research. In many ways, it's uh, an easier challenge than trying to use stem cells to treat disease tissue, primarily because there is no underlying disease. It's just damaged normal tissue. So we think this is actually an optimal place to start, whereby one can isolate stem cells from an individual use culture techniques to grow these cells up, including 3D printing techniques and other advanced techniques in bioengineering to help recreate tissues and, and organs. I think that as one looks to the future in stem cell biology and stem cell therapeutics, there are, I think, tremendous opportunities in the long term and in the near term, and the real challenge is identifying the best cells under the best conditions. Clearly, there are some diseases that are going to be more amenable to stem cell therapeutics. There already are diseases that are treated with stem cells, and the advances in the stem cell biology, really emanating from advances in developmental biology, have allowed the field to look carefully at how we can use cells and manipulate them in culture to then use them in therapeutic trials. I think there's been a, a great interest around the world in moving uh, this field from the laboratory into the clinic, and clearly there are, uh, there are areas and there are regions where this is being done with rigor and carefully and with a great attention to safety, which is of course the primary, primary goal of initial studies to make sure that stem cell therapy is safe. But ultimately, of course, we're looking for the efficacy of stem cell therapy, and I think that the kind of collection of speakers uh, rec recognized here today in this symposium are such that uh, different expertise is being brought together and the kind of expertise that will be necessary to translate this from a bench to a bedside approach.